היי אביוואן, הדס פום אלמנטו היר. טודיי הוא ווילה קריאט א ספיישל ולנטיינס דיי קאט אאוט פאפ אפ, דאט איז פול אוף לאב, אנד ווילה פיר און פייג' לוד. לטס דיג אין. אין פיינדר, סרצ' פור פאפ אפ, אד אנד יו פאפ אפ, אנד גיב איט א נעים. דיס טיים אי גויינג טו קריאט מי און פאפ אפ. סו לטס ג'סט קלוז דיס. אופן אין יו סקשן וויט וואן קולום, אד א הדינג וויג'ט, אנד א בטן וויג'ט, טייפ אול דה טקסט דאט יו ניד. אוקיי. Now we can start working on the background. Click on the section handle to enter its settings, under style, background type, choose classic, and add your cutout image. Change the position to center center, make it no repeat, and change the size to contain. Now let's just make the heart bigger and the window larger. In the advanced tab, go to padding and add 150 pixels all around. Much better. Let's also move the text down a bit. Click on the column handle to enter its settings, and in the advanced tab, add 30 pixels to the top padding. Okay, now let's add a GIF to be displayed as the background. Open a new section with one column, drag in an image widget, add your GIF, and change the image size to full. Go to the section settings, and under the layout tab, Go to Columns Gap and choose No Gap. We are doing that because we want the image to take the whole space of the section. Now let's place them one on top of the other. Go back to the Hard Pop-Up Section Settings, and under the Advanced tab, change the margin top to minus 500 pixels. And let's also get rid of the background. Starting with the Overlay, go to the Pop-Up Settings and switch the Overlay button to Hide. Then, under the Style tab, choose Color and slide the Transparency slider all the way down. Next will be the shadow. Go to the box shadow and click on back to default arrow. All right, now let's add an entrance animation. Go back to the pop-up settings and in the entrance animation drop-down menu, pick on fade in and change the animation duration to two seconds. So my design is ready. Now let's click publish and set the conditions, triggers and advanced rules. Click on add condition and leave it on entire site. Click next. I want the pop-up to show on page load. So let's switch it to yes and type in the number of seconds. Click next. For this example, we're not going to set any advanced rules. So click on save and close. Okay, let's see it in action. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all the latest updates and tutorials. Bye.